Hi guys, it's Shani from Yanomize and welcome back to another video. Today is a little bit different. Uh, you might remember this G-Wagon turned up before with another two um, for a company called Close Protection One. Today it is back and we are doing a full conversion and wrap for that company. Uh, you might see them driving around London. Guys, check them out. All their details are here right now, but I'm going to um, step away and I'm gonna show you the car before we get it in and we start working on it. Hi guys, Terry again. As you see behind me, we had a G-Wagon come in. It's actually painted in this matte color, but yeah, he's getting it wrapped. So what happens is when a car comes in, I get a checking in sheet. I go around the car, see if there's any damage, any dents, chips, scratches, anything that's gonna show through the vinyl. I mark it all down, I get the customer to sign it and then he'll give us a go ahead where he wants us to rub it down, do a repair. Um, so when we lay the vinyl down, it looks perfect. So yeah, just check this car inside and out and see what we find. So this car is now leaving Yanomize and he's heading up to Urban to get the full wide track body kit. So what does the wide track come with? Starting at the front, full nose bonnet, you've got a full replacement front bumper and a carbon front splitter. On the side, carbon wide arches, urban cat back system, 23 inch wheels, UV1s. At the back, rear spoiler, wheel cover, rear bumper, rear splitter. Oh, and let's not forget the carbon light bar. So Close Protection One's G63 AMG is now back. It's had a full urban wide track body kit. And I mean, it's had everything from the wheels, to the bonnet, to the arches, to the bumpers. Everything is now carbon. Now you might notice everything's in gloss black, but the car is in like a khaki green color. We've found out Mercedes Benz are bringing out a new style look called Magno, which means the car is one color and the kit is another color. So I said to the customer, let's mix it up. Let's do something different. Right now, I think the car looks real cool. However, his logo is a specific color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the bumpers and the arches in the black, and then we're gonna wrap the car another color. Will it work? Who knows, but you're about to find out. So the Close Protection One G-Wagon is now complete. So let's do a quick check of what we've done to this car. Firstly, the car arrived, we cleaned it, like we always do. Then we threw a full urban wide track body kit on this vehicle with the big boy wheels. Then we wrapped it in Close Protection One's branding company color. And as you can see, it looks great. A lot of people think gold looks tacky. This, I think they got it bang on the money. They're all about exposure, they're all about looking after people. They're all about protection. So I thought, let me show some love back. So we put some branding on the car. As you can see here on the rear window, we've got their Instagram. But on the petrol cap, we actually put their logo underneath and then wrapped over the top. So this, when you feel it, it's like it's, like it's raised. On the inside, however, look at this. The starlight roof lining. So what do we think? Does this work? I know you only usually see these in Rolls Royces, however, I've seen these in BMWs, I've seen these in normal Mercs, and now you've seen it in a G-Wagon.
one G-Wagon, two G-Wagon, Range Rover in the back. Should we let them in so they can have a look? Okay then. These plates are for show purposes only. I think I'm going to go on the car and I think that will complete it. So let me get one of the guys to put this on now. The big bonnet scoop, the wider arches with the carbon exposed. So no one can take this off because it's underneath. Beautiful. Obviously full rear bumper, again carbon. You've got your carbon wheel cover, AMG uh, stuff in black. Yeah, I love that. Nick. The little touches, all the starlight roof line inside, so it looks like the Rolls-Royce Wraith style. Spoiler on the top, okay, you've got the big spoiler on the top, and then you've got the roof lights on the front as well. Look at the difference. Look at the size of the front bumper. Look at the bonnet, look at the roof. And what's funny is, that's no joke, that's not like it's a G350, that's a G63 AMG as well. This one just sits so much wider. It's an incredible kit, and it's the best one for me that works on a G-Wagon. And by far the best. It just works, and the color. You've got the colour right. I say to people, a lot of people when they go gold, they'll go chrome and it's a bit tacky and it doesn't quite work. We sat down, we went through the colours and he was like, Yanni, that's the colour I want, 100%. It works with his logo. It's going to stand out. Sorry? One. One of a kind, it? It's one of one. We like, we like one of one here. This is one of one. And also with the exposed bumper, so the Magno look. So everything is black. Rather than having all the bumpers in gold, which might take the look away, it just gives it a totally different look. And I know Mercedes-Benz are starting to bring out the Magno look car, which is this, but that doesn't come out for a few weeks. So these lot have got the, the, the first, shall we say, it's out early doors. In a month's time, you might see another black bumper G-Wagon with a different color car. But for now, Close Protection 1 have done it first. <laughs> say no more, say no more.